Hey guys, how's it going? Brendan here, aka BGuff. I hope you guys enjoyed that overly dramatic intro video, but I've got some exciting news for you guys today and some things to share with you and, and talk about. Uh, mainly it has to do with what you see in front of me here. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen videos and pictures and participated in a lot of the online discussion surrounding this, but it's essentially a Beta 75 Pro frame that has been modified to fit 1102, 1103 brushless motors. Uh, as well as a 16 by 16 2S capable stack. If you guys don't know the history on this guy, I'll go back here real quick. Uh, but it was sometime in February when a group of buddies and myself here with Seattle Multi Rotors, we do some indoor winter racing with Tiny Whoops and uh, sometimes even Baby Hawks. And one evening, a, a buddy of mine showed up with basically what you see here modified Beta 75 Pro uh, with a 16 by 16 stack running two cell. Um, initially, I wasn't sh too sure what to think because it looked essentially like your traditional Beta 75 Pro. Um, but as soon as he threw a battery on there, I tell you what, I was, uh, I was completely blown away with the flight capabilities of something in this form factor. Uh, essentially, he was able to power loop the rafters in the building we were in and get hang time like you normally see on a, a two to five inch quad. So I was very impressed and from that moment I knew that I needed to build one of my own. Uh, lo and behold, uh, early June, once a few of us had, had got these built and kind of proven that there was something special, something exciting here, we got in contact with our friends over at Beta FPV. They liked uh, what they saw in the videos and what we were doing with this here and they decided to work with us and uh, collaborate with us to bring what you guys see here, which they're calling the Beta 75X. Uh, it's essentially what you see on the table, except for no modification required to the frame. It's gonna come out of the box, ready to fly for you guys in both a bind and fly, as well as an almost ready to fly where you guys would uh, provide your own receiver. So let's go ahead and dig in here, get a little bit closer look at what we've got in the box, um, and hopefully I can answer some questions and clarify some things for you so you guys know what to expect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and slide this into view here, open up the box and get a closer look at this guy. So as you can see, it comes in a nice little box here. Uh, one of the benefits that a lot of people may overlook is the fact that this box that it comes in here is actually going to double as a nice little case. Um, I'm always having a hard time trying to find places to keep this thing safe. Uh, so this box over here is actually going to double as a really nice case for me. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what you see here. Uh, essentially what we've got are new custom 40 millimeter four blade propellers that you guys are used to seeing on a traditional tiny whip. These just press on to the motors here. They actually press on fairly easily. I haven't had any come off in flights, but they do press on and pull off pretty easily to where I haven't actually had to use a tool on these. Uh, but overall you can tell this essentially looks uh, at first glance here, like a typical standard Beta 75 Pro uh, with, a, with a few modifications to the frame uh, due to the added weight that this brings. So you'll see here, they've added these extra gussets with this uh, support coming in here to the rest of the frame, which adds an immense uh, amount of strength to this frame. I've, I've flown uh, these guys over here for a few weeks now on that same frame. These are my own uh, custom builds and I have yet to damage the frame or fracture it in any way. Uh, the camera angle here is coming in at 35 degrees. Uh, this will allow you guys to maintain plenty of speed while flying this guy. This thing does want to go, 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 so that extra camera angle will definitely come in handy uh, keeping this thing close to the ground at higher speeds. 
couple of things to note here. I did make some modifications since receiving this uh, initial prototype unit from Beta FPV. Uh, a lot of you know that these tiny whoops tend to kind of wash out in the corners, if you will. They will tip to the side and also tip up and look at the sky. And then at that point, it's kind of a crapshoot whether or not you're able to pull out of that washout or not. Um, so one of the initial things I've done with this is I've gone into beta flight and modified the propeller orientation to be reversed props, also known as props out. And that has significantly improved the flight characteristics of this aircraft. One of the other modifications I've done is I've gone ahead and removed the battery tray that comes on this by default and replaced it with zip ties. And that's just simply due to the fact that I'm running larger batteries, physically larger batteries than Beta FPV is recommending for this frame and is planning to release for this frame. Uh, another exciting feature here is that we have plug and play motors. You guys probably already know this from these motors being on Beta FPV's website and seeing the connection point there, but no longer do you have to fiddle with those very small, hard to work with wires and soldering them onto these tiny, tiny components. Um, you also see they've made a nice little spot here for the receiver to sit. Fits nicely below the ESC down here, but yet above where the battery goes in. It's nice and isolated there. Uh, what I've done to mount the diversity antennas here is I just wrap them around the ducts, and I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but there is a little dab of hot glue here, as well as here, just to hold that antenna on the duct, and then I've gone ahead and put one more little bit of hot glue right here. Same on both sides, and this gives me tons of control range, having these the, uh, the important part of the antenna out here on the open portion of the duct on both sides, and I have not actually had any issues with these antennas coming loose uh, during flight or in crashes. Let's go ahead and remove the canopy here and get a closer look under the hood. All right, so here's a closer look under the hood of this thing, and you can see one of the marquee features is that the flight controller is actually the shape of a traditional flight, uh, tiny whip flight controller, excuse me, as well as we have this really nice, uh, very well engineered with this nice strong curved area here as well as mounts that go all the way around and are integral into the canopy mount itself. Uh, also you can see down in here if you look really closely there are some wires between the camera connection to the VTX here which is going to come in handy so that if you do crash and push this camera back into the frame or the canopy at all and somehow manage to break this mount, your camera will not uh, suffer damage due to the rigid connections that were previously on this model camera down here at the base. Uh, so the flight controller is right here on top and then down underneath the 4-in-1 ESC uh, that is running D-Shot 600, I believe it's 6 amps continuous and 10 amps burst. So here's what the new frame looks like with uh, nothing in it here. You have your standard uh, tiny whoop, if you will, flight controller shaped mounting posts here. You also have pre-drilled motor bases or motor mounts here, so you no longer have to pre-drill the Beta 75 Pro frame. We've got some gussets that have been added on all four corners of the frame with this additional support here. Uh, those have really made this frame much, much stronger. I'm pushing on this pretty hard, and this flex is much, much less than you would find on the Beta 75 Pro. Uh, these little pieces back here, I believe, are, were intended for an LED like you guys have seen on my own custom builds where I've thrown an LED at the back um, of the frame there just to add to the spectator portion. Unfortunately the LEDs I'm using don't actually fit this but uh, not a big deal I just end up hot gluing the LED strip back here on the outside and it's held up pretty well and crashes has not come loose uh, yet. So if we go ahead and flip this over here you can see the battery tray um, the batteries I'm running on mine are these uh, Airblade UAV batteries, which are a little bit big for this battery tray. These are the 
TAT2 45C 300 mAh batteries that, that fit in this frame just fine with no need uh, to modify the bottom of the frame there or the battery mount. Um, Beta FPV has stated that they're going to come out with their own battery that is similar to this, uh, but it won't come with a red JST that you need to swap out. It'll come pre-fitted with an XT30 as well as hopefully a uh, shorter balance lead. When you buy these initially off of Amazon, uh, these tattoo packs here specifically, they come with a red J JST that you have to swap out. Slightly inconvenient, but uh, that's why I ended up running these. They already came pre-configured with a balance lead and an XT30. But like I said before, Beta FPV is gonna come out with a battery similar to what you see here that will fit in this frame without modification. So that's gonna do it for the up close look and bench review of this prototype of the new Beta 75X. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this. If I've missed anything or if you guys still have questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll at, try and add anything that I think I've missed in the description or that I think you guys need to know about. Uh, but again, huge shout out to the entire Beta FPV team for working with us on this design as well as the local pilots here, Nate Merland and Daniel. Let's go ahead and cut to some of that field flight footage.